Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the guilds in the dashboard and check if you have permissions or not. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Right, so since there will be a lot of code, and I don't want to code all of this in the video because the video will be very long, instead I have the code ready here and I'm going to just start explaining everything I changed, okay? So uh, if we went over here, this is the yeah the website. I didn't actually do not do that's why I have it like that. So let me actually get it out here. So good. So uh, let's check what did I actually add. So uh, in the logout, it used to be kind of different. Okay, so uh, it was just like this. Now we added this. So when you actually log out, it actually like logs you out. It clears the cookies. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's the first thing we've changed. Uh, let's check here into the login. Something we've changed. Okay. So do you see this part? Like getting the data basically. This used to be like this, okay, in this file and the rest of the files. All the files that had this should be now changed to this. It's like that for security reasons, okay, so no one can actually just get in, you know what I mean? So this is something important you have to change in your code. So yeah, user ID, decoding the user ID as well. All right, and here we didn't really change anything else here. So, uh, the index is the same, nothing has changed here. Alright, so you see here there's two new files, okay? We got guild and get user guild. Guilds, okay. So, let's start by guilds, actually, the get user guilds one. So, uh, here's some usual stuff, getting the schema, the JSON web token, getting the, to the JSON web token secret that I explained last video from the config.json, and getting permissions from Discord.js. Okay, so here it requires just deleting the cache from uh, EGS, okay, that's something normal, I also explained what does this do in the first video I've ever made. Um, this one is this chunk of code is basically just checking for the cookies if it has the token if not just go to the login so we can just login again to have a token uh here is just decoding the cookies token using the secret i've talked about uh and here if there is an error just ignore it and if there is no decode like if it's not decoded go to the login page so we can actually get a correct token here we're getting the data from uh, the database from the schema now as i said we have this is important okay make sure you have it uh and now if we didn't find the data go to the login so the person can login for the first time ever and have the data in our database now guild array Basically, like this, we're getting all the guilds the person has into an array, okay? And here, mutual, mutual array, basically all mutual servers. So, uh, yeah. Here, the guilds array, we're gonna go for each guild in it, and we're gonna name, name it G. For, okay, so one guild is G. So first of all, g.avatar will be this, so we're getting the server's icon, or server avatar, like that. And then, here we're checking if the bot is actually into the server, okay? If it is not, then we go make the permissions false, okay? So here, um, as you can see, checking if the, if the bot is in, is in the server, and then getting bit permissions, Okay, here, this is just something normal, you know. 
Um, so uh, here we're checking if the person has manage guild permissions or have administrator or he uh, he is the owner of the server as you can see then guild dot has permissions equal true okay now we define that the, that guild the person has permission in it a mutual server we gotta push that guild in it okay uh, else if the if it's not there so g dot permissions is false basically and we're not putting it into the mutual server array here we're putting the args okay because we're gonna check this out right now here uh, the avatar and the user username discriminator id login and these stuff okay so we can render this file also this file is new so let's just leave it for now i'm gonna uh, explain what to do later now let's go back to here okay it's guild.js okay it's basically the same as this one as you can see it has the same name exactly but we've added this if you add this it means like in the other one it was it was slash get user guild right here using slash id we can do slash the guild ID, okay, whatever the ID is, and view another sort of data that we're going to explain here. Okay, so if you can see right here now, deleting the cache, checking for the logins, as I said before. If there is no logins, redirect to guilds. Uh, if, like, the, the guilds thingy, so if the, if, ha, huh, if there is no ID, or, there is no permission, uh, uh, or the, the bot is not in the server, just return to uh, this one, the guild user, uh, the uh, get user guilds, okay? Here we're checking for the logins, okay? Here everything, checking for the logins, I just explained it in this file. Uh, if there is no, just go to, uh, if there is no data, here let me just separate them, okay? Let me actually. Just start explaining. Delete cache. Okay. Check if the bot is in the guild. Plus, check if the URL has the ID. Okay. And then here, login check. getting data if no data redirect to login all right defining some stuff and let me explain what's that okay so here we're getting the guild basically the one guild into the the like we did guild slash and guild ID so we're getting that guild and now, if there is no guild, just return to that place, okay? To uh, like this file, which is which has all the list of the servers. And now get the member, which is the person who is logged in right now, okay? So if that person doesn't exist, just uh, yeah, just go to back to here, okay? So no one can just go to any guild and change his data without even being in that server. Here we're getting the permissions, okay, and uh, yeah, getting the like the permissions of, of the person in the server. So here we're saying the same thing: if he doesn't have managed guild, if he doesn't have administrator, and if he's not uh, the the guild owner, okay, and like if they are. 3 equal to true, we're gonna redirect him back to user guilds. Now we're gonna just send your viewing guild name and then yeah some stuff here in the back and back to home and the your permissions in the guild are and here we're just showing the permissions. Same goes here for aux. Okay. We well, I don't think even we need that, but we'll need it later on other videos right now we'll not need it but keep it here for like yeah for the next video or whatever going to the dashboard of 
course I've changed and added this line as I said before okay uh, yeah just simple stuff I've just explained everything in here already and the callback yes yeah, same thing nothing really has changed uh, yeah I'm just showing the file in case uh, you wanted to like get the code and put it uh, for you if you don't have like source code because the source code is into the, uh, the disco server but you need to be level 20 plus or a booster if not then you can copy it from the video here all right now that we've finished all the back backend codes here let's check out dashboard.js uh, we've just added this button over here which is view servers so you can go to look at guilds user guilds and just check for the servers and yeah here we've made this as a new file okay uh so uh user as you can see user in uh, is in the following guilds and it shows the the guilds and then gets uh, a line break and put back to home okay uh and then gold with permissions and just sh gonna show every single gold you have permissions in to change anything in it okay and gold with no permission and the bot isn't in those servers okay so uh oh or okay now the same thing goes here so let's launch the bot to show everything. This has no CSS by the way, that's why it will look just ugly. You can apply your own CSS and HTML. Uh, next video I'll apply that, so no worries, don't worry. Here I'm gonna log in. Okay. Authorize. As you can see, there is a view service button. If I clicked on that, I'm gonna run this file, okay? So, uh, as you can see, like the bot is not in any of those at all, but it's actually in, like, it's, it's in one of those, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have permissions that the bot, I, I like, I don't have permissions in that server, that's why the bot, uh, it's just it's, that's why the server is just is, uh, is here but here is the place where I have permissions and the bot is in both okay so uh, if I try to click on as example let's do test okay as you can see the guild ID is here and it will go to this one this file as you can see and now it's just showing every single permission I have Okay, true, false, false, true, 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 false. Okay, that's just some random stuff. Back to the view viewing. Okay. And that's how we actually did it. Uh, I can actually make another list that shows the, the like no permissions will be separated from the not mute mutual servers. The the server that the bot isn't in it. Okay. But uh, yeah, let's keep it like that for now. So uh, yeah, I just showed you how I did that. This is the like avatar, the name, checking everything. As you can see here, looks fine. So yeah, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be. That's it and ciao.